Hi, I'm Damien Walsh, the Managing Director of Bank MECU. I'd like to thank all of our customers for participating in our forum, our SAFE forum this year. It's been a pleasure to invite you to the forum and uh, engage in a dialogue. So uh, we'd like to just thank you for participating in the democratic process. My name is Renata Anderson and I'm asking this question on behalf of Dr. Amy Webster. Many customers are drawn to Bank MECU because of its ethical investments, including supporting reconciliation, environmental conservation and community resilience. Investing in people and workforce counts most in supporting long-term effectiveness across all of these areas. Will Bank MECU continue to make a measurable and sustainable difference across these areas by investing in specialist professional development across the community sector as a whole? Thanks, Amy, for your question. Um, we absolutely believe that we have a, a role to play in supporting community organisations and the education sector, actually, in helping them build um, capabilities within their businesses. Um, it's actually a, a focus, a key focus of our community investment program. In the past, we've uh, assisted with leadership scholarships and assisted in providing um, strategic planning and finance training. So we're actually really interested in hearing if anyone else has ideas around uh, how we can help build um, capabilities in both the community and the education sector. Thank you, Amy. Hello, Bank MECU Board. I'll get straight to it. My question is, what are your views on compound interest as the standard model for home loans? It seems a little unfair to take out a loan for 400000 for example, and then end up paying back over 800000 for the life of the loan. So. Essentially, my question is, why can't loans be given on simple interest instead? Um, I'd be interested to hear your, your thoughts. Thank you. Hi, Paul. Thanks for your question. Um, I actually kind of would like to explain that uh, mortgage loans are simple interest. Um, that when uh, we charge interest um, during a month, let's say $1,000, and a customer makes a repayment of $2,000, then effectively $1,000 goes to pay off the interest and the other $1,000 goes to uh, pay off the principal and reduce the debt over time. So uh, the only time a mortgage loan would actually uh, include compounding interest is if a customer provided a repayment that was insufficient to meet the interest or failed to make a repayment at all. So uh, I know uh, mortgage loans are long-term commitments, but they are fundamentally simple interest. We actually encourage our customers to pay down their debt as quickly as possible. Uh, we certainly have no restrictions on early repayments. And in actual fact, 85% of our customers are in advance on their mortgage loan. So that's a really pleasing thing to see. So thanks for your question, Paul. Hello, my name is Solway. Where I live, a lot of people have divested their money from the big four banks to protest at their support of the fossil fuel industry. My question to the board is, do you expect a backlash from the big four as a result of so many customers divesting and transferring to Bank MECU? If so, how will you counter it? Hi Solway, thanks for your question. Uh, we've actually really enjoyed um, the number of customers that have come to us this year through the divestment um, program. So if you're one of those, uh, thanks for choosing us out of you know, other choices in the marketplace. Uh, we don't really expect to, um, for there to be a public response from the other banks uh, in relation to uh, divestment activity, but we are really focused on our business and actually ensuring that we run a responsible bank, that our values actually represent the values of our customers. And it's been really pleasing to see about 5,500 people um, choose to do their banking this year with a values-based bank. And if you're one of those, uh, welcome aboard. Thanks for your participation this year. It's been a pleasure uh, to engage with our customers through the Our Safe Forum. We encourage you to continue to ask us questions, uh, particularly through our central website.